crazy town, G. There's nothing to even say. This could. <laughs> this is a top tenner, I'll bet. <laughs> Maybe top four or five. Biden today. Crazy town, G. Roll it. Thanks for your patience of sitting out here. It's an honor to be with you, outstanding members of Congress today. Senator Ed Markey. Ed, where's there you go? Senator Elizabeth Warren. Two lunatics. Congress eggs. Hawkinclaw sauce. Where is she? What? There you go today. What? And what do you your say? great former Hawkinclaws. members. Hawkinclaws. And one of my dearest <laughs> friends, delicious. John Kerry, is doing a great job traveling the world and in his private G6. talking with an awful lot of people. Yeah. He's talking into moving more, more than they've been doing. doing. And another uh, great <laughs> Massachusetts neighbor, n- native, from Gina Bell. McCarthy. Gina, there she is. Yeah. It's an honor to be joined by your neighbor, by your neighbor from Rhode Island. He's not a bad guy at all. I live in his house, Sheldon Whitehouse, a great champion of the environment. He's been banging away at it. I come here today with a message. Yeah, genius. As president, I have a responsibility to act with urgency and resolve when our nation faces clear and present danger. Oh, shut up. And that's what you climate are. change is about. Yeah. Yeah. UN's yeah. leading international climate scientists call the latest climate report nothing less than, quote, code red for humanity. Oh, <laughs> climate change is literally an existential threat <laughs> to our nation and to the world. So my message today means? is this. Since Congress is not acting as it should, and these guys here are, but we're not getting many Republican votes, this is an emergency, an emergency. And I will, I will look at it that way. I said last week, and I'll say it again loud and clear. As president, I'll use my executive powers to combat climate, the climate crisis in the absence of congressional action. And my Department of Labor, led by a guy named Marty Walsh, he talks funny, and he's doing two things. <laughs> First of all, the Secretary of Labor, he's developing the first ever so workplace mean. standards for extreme heat, saying under these con- these conditions that hit this, pre- you cannot do the following. You cannot ask people to do certain things. Wow. Second, what? to make sure we hold workplaces and to those standards that are being set. Gina McCarthy, a former regulator in Massachusetts, what? was telling me on the way up how folks used to get a rag out and wipe the gunk off of their car's windshields in the morning just to be able to drive. Not very much unlike where I grew up in a place called Claymont, Delaware. <laughs> the first frost, you know what was happening. You had to put on your windshield wipers to get literally the oil slick off the window. That's why I and so damn many other people I grew up have cancer. <laughs> that's why I have cancer. But that's the past. That's not the past. We're gonna get. We're gonna build a different future. He's got cancer. I took with one, one with clean <laughs> energy good paying jobs. <laughs> when I think about climate change, and I've been saying this for three years, I think jobs. Because there's a big transition happening. Many of these fossil fuel plants are becoming sites for new clean energy construction. Others are switching to new clean technologies. We are, pro- pro- we're, we are propelling retrofits and ensuring that even where fossil oh, fuel plants retires, they still have a role in powering the future. I want to thank Cecil Roberts, a friend and president of the United Mine Workers of America, and so many other labor leaders who work with this, work with on these initiatives. And we still, and we're going to seal leaky methane pollution, 40 times more dangerous to the environment than carbon than, uh, dioxide. And folks, <laughs> with American leadership back on climate, I was able to bring more world leaders together than we got 100 nations together to agree that their major conference in Glasgow, England, to, I mean, Scotland, to change <laughs> the emissions <laughs> policies. We're going to make sure that the ocean is open for the clean energy of our future and everything we can do, give a green light to wind power on the Atlantic coast where my predecessor's actions only created confusion. Let's clear the way. Let's clear the way for clean energy and connect these projects to the grid. I've directed my administration to clear every federal hurdle and streamline federal permitting that brings these clean energy projects online right now and right away. I'll bet you when you see what's happened here in this cable construction manufacturing, and you go back and ask all the people who grew up in this beautiful place, what they'd rather have 
awesome. They want the plant back. What a location. Everything it had. That's so picturesque. Or what you're going to have. I will be dumbfounded if you find anybody other than for pure sentimental reasons saying, I'd rather have a coal plant. I'll end by telling you another quick story. Oh, great. <laughs> great. Another when we move story. from Scranton, when Wait, coal died so in Scranton, Joey. everything died in Scranton. And my dad wasn't a coal miner. My, my, grand, my great-grandfather was a mining engineer. But my dad was in sales, and there was no work. So we left to go down to Delaware. I told you where those oil plants were. Right. Within 15 blocks, we didn't live in the neighborhood, among the most prestigious neighborhood in the region, in the, in the, in the town where the Scrantons and other <laughs> good, decent region. people uh, live. Pop, pop. Is there a point to this story? There was no. a pl- You'd go by a wall that my recollection is was somewhere between 15 and 18 feet tall. And it went for the essentially a city block. And you could see the coal piled up to the very top of the wall from inside. Glad it was a quick story. It was a story. coal-fired plant. When it comes to fighting for climate change, climate change, I will not take no for an answer. That sounds like hyperbole, but it's not. It's oh, real. Said it. it's, again, sounds like hyperbole. Our children and grandchildren Twice. Twice. One more. are counting on us. Bonus. Not a joke. Not, not a joke. joke. <laughs> <laughs> we don't keep it below 1.5 degrees centigrade. We lose it all. He's lost it. Wow. 1.5 centigrade and we all die? Wow. We lose it all. Huh. <laughs> he's lost wow. Out. I, for one, okay. I'm behind the green energy <laughs> deal now. I mean, he sold me. That was, that was incredibly powerful. I'm all in. Yeah. Especially being a cancer survivor that he is. <laughs> yeah. When did this happen? What? In the past. <laughs> It was in the past. What a good... He grew up with cancer. I mean, I had to play the crazy town first so we could get that finally out there. Obviously, most people, I'm sure, heard about this today, yeah. as what? I did. What That's was... the first time I actually saw it. What was he saying in the middle? I mean, there was several times where he just... Well, first of all, I mean, let's just... Jake Auchincloss is the member, by the way, who I believe is somehow part of the Colbert deal. Unless I have that mistaken. Oh, that's, which... the, uh, that's the rep or the person that works for the rep? He's the rep, I believe. Auchincloss is the congressman. Or, uh, yeah. Now, I don't, I don't know that he has a barbecue sauce available <laughs> under his name, but it sounded like Biden said something, and then he said, where is she? Well, it's a he. Yeah. Representative Auchincloss is Jake. I know the Democratic Party doesn't, you know, he, the, she, he, it, whatever the pronouns are, but Jake Auchincloss is a he last time I checked. Oh. Uh, is this English, G? Maybe to clear some of this up. <laughs> um, oh, roll, that should help. R- Audience, that. stay alert. <laughs> Audience, stay vigilant. I'm going to need you. Okay, let's uh, listen up. Good. Listen up. Senator Elizabeth Warren, Congress Egg, Auchincloss, Sauce. Where is she? There you go, Jake. <laughs> it almost reminds me of pork chops and applesauce. <laughs> oh, that's yeah. well, that's you swell. Bunch oh. fans out there. That's swell. <laughs> Pork chops and apple sauce. That's Stewart. swell. Jamie Stewart. Oh, one more, uh, one more time, dude. Just one more time, please. <laughs> it starts out so strong. Senator Elizabeth Warren, Congress Egg, Hawking Claw Sauce. Where is she? There you go, Jake. <laughs> this is elder abuse. <laughs> Wasn't there another? But wasn't there another one in the middle? Where he, I think there was. Yeah, there was. There was another one in the middle of that where he was like flubba dubba dubba dum. <laughs> where you called him the guy from Fat Albert? Yeah. Right. Hey, ba ba ba. Walking claw saw sounds sounds actually kind of good. More, more than they've been doing. Right. More than they've been <laughs> doing. There's mush mouse. <laughs> Wait a minute. Pumpkin puss. Even even when he, if you catch, because we keep talking over it, even when he goes to say Congress. Men. Men, the, he can't the, even get the congressman out right and then jake oh, gee is this english <laughs> one more time please silence senator elizabeth warren congress eggs hawking claw sauce where is she there you go jake. why is there a z in congress zig <laughs> oh man congress egg 
All right. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't be laughing at this. I don't, I don't know. You, you know what? I was just thinking about that. I, don't know. I, have, I have two cents on that. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> that change of a dollar. Come on. <laughs> <laughs>